All right, YouTube, today we're talking about High Rise and why it's been ruined as a competitive map going into this NW3 season with the new mechanics that have been added to Call of Duty since that 2009 when it was originally released. It's being played completely differently because of what you can do now with the whole mantling system onto different aspects of the map that you weren't able to back in the day. And it's actually changing completely how this map is played. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over into a telestrator, talk about the map, from a bird's eye view. And then we're gonna go inside the game and talk about the different spots. And I'll show you some different spots that teams are using, you know, since day one on control and in search and destroy. And we're gonna talk about how OP these spots are now because you are able to get a really significant height advantage that you weren't able to, you know, back in 2009 when MW2 originally came out. So let's break it down. Let's get right into it. All right, so we got the overview of the high rise map here on the Telestrator. And I'm gonna be drawing basically the important aspects of this map nowadays with the ability to mantle and get that significant height advantage right away and be able to actually capitalize on that by looking to enemy spawns and trying to kill them while they're coming off spawn. So we're specifically looking at control here, but obviously all these spots can be used in search and destroy as well, just to get a quick height advantage and try and get info on the enemy team. So let's start here with just the defensive side. You know, you can hop on these specific railings over here. And because you can do this, you can instantly start getting sights onto the enemy spawn, you know, in these windows while they're trying to escape. So like, let's say you get a two or three down, you can just instantly hop on one of these railings, start spawn killing them, and they have nothing that they can do about that. And it's really different for what it was back in the day. You know, technically back in the day, the only areas of the map that you can actually get a height advantage from uh, was, you know, top heli over here or top propane over here on that side. And you know, the only ways you can actually get to those places were if you went up these heli stairs, you know, either one of these stairwells or or if you climbed up this top ladder uh, to get to the top propane. So there are only you know, limited entrances to these specific spots to get that height advantage. And then obviously you can climb onto those little like railways over here too. But you know, those are the only ways you can get up to those positions. And you'd actually have to take a really long commitment of time to actually get into those positions. So it was really important if you got that specific height advantage to start utilizing it. But you know, you'd have to get initial map control to actually get to the spot in the first place. Here you know you can just technically be you know on this b street and then just you know decide to just want to hop up onto the railing start seeing if you can get anyone off spawn and get info that way and you know even if you wanted to catch anyone that might have been running down this mid lane you can still do that from this spot you know technically from this defensive side you would have to you know overextend from this b street go to the b point and then get info you know actually watching this cut over here but now you can just do that for free by mantling onto these walls over here and these type of instant power positions on these walls are just so important in control because as soon as you get you know three or four downs you can just instantly hop and you're looking into the enemy spawn right away so let's say we're talking about this offensive side we get two or three kills we start hopping on this b point start capping it you know you can hop on top of these little generator things and literally look into the enemy spawn that way you know technically the only way you could do it previously was just to look out through this little window over here but now you're on a really awkward power position for them because you're jumping up onto this generator and they're trying to kill you off spawn but you just have that initial height advantage and you just have that complete advantage in the gunfight so technically you just hop on one of these generators instantly get that info for your team and start spawn killing them rather than you know let's say you had to play this window like previously you had to you know instantly chow out first of all you're completely open from this window so if anyone's off spawn on this defensive side and initially just centered for this angle you know there's a much better chance that they can kill you off of that but here they have to technically guess you know you can be on one one of these you know, four different power positions already and you're just instantly looking off onto their spawn. And to talk about the other side of the map, as I was saying before, the only way to get to this top heli position back in the day was to use one of the stairwells. You literally had to get that initial map positioning, get on the stairwell, and then get on top of that heli plat, and you would be rewarded for getting that map positioning by playing up here. But now what you can do is you can literally mantle, you know, this green hut, you can mantle these ACs, you can jump up top here, you can mantle this gas tank on B, you can jump over towards the heli that way. You can even jump on top of this little hut over here and get some, you know, height advantage over there. But you know, there's so many 
different positions on the map that you can now mantle and get that height position so that either way you're able to get you know deep crosses with these angles and sight lines that you wouldn't have had before and you would have had to like actually get this map positioning up top heli to actually get before but now you can do it from all these different spots and it creates you know really significant problems both in search and destroy and control because now let's say you're on that offensive side on either one of those game modes and you're trying to hit underground you know technically you know these different angles can actually see you uh, in those positions so you're not really just having to worry about your mid lane and your you know top heli you have to worry about these other deep positionings that you can't even really gun but they can still get that info for free just by mantling up so this one little change is actually super significant in how the map plays entirely because now you can just cover lanes cover different sight lines and even significant crosses at the start of the round just by you know using these deep areas of the map that don't really require a lot of map positioning to get uh, but you can actually still get that same type of info so to me it's just like free cheap info that you probably would have needed a lot more map pressure to actually get back in the day and now it's kind of like you're gifted these little positions that just really enhance your gameplay and you know you can technically say oh you can do it on both sides there are height advantages both sides so it is equal but you know that's just not how it should be played it should just be played standard base you know technically if you just get a three or four down it's just going to create really boring gameplay because now you can just instantly hop instantly get people trying to come off of these respawns you know whether it's through one of these windows as we talked about before those are the only exits off of that spawn and same thing for this other side you know three windows only ways you can actually get out of that spawn if you're not you know pushed up in their spawn blocking they're still going to be spawning in these you know really deep areas so you know that they're going to be spawning there once you get those three or four downs you can instantly get to one of those hop ups and start really spawn killing them and it just creates a really boring spawn trappy gameplay where you don't really even need a lot of map pressure to get those advantages so I'll just run around the map and show you guys what I'm talking about with some of these spots. So like first over here, you just mantle this wall and look at what you can watch. You can watch, you know, this entire A side of the control. You can see anyone coming out of these mid windows. You can see anyone coming out of these right side windows. You know, technically you can even see some people going underground with this cross. And if you jump, you can even see people, you know, towards this green tarp and you know coming out of that left side window. So all I literally have to do was just maybe win one gunfight here on the B street and then just instantly hop over like that. What otherwise I wouldn't have access to all those different lines of sight unless I went you know up here to this top propane where we used to just have this as the you know top map control where you can start seeing everything you know now there's just a lot of different other areas of the map that you can do the same thing you know once again on these generators it creates a little good heady if you, you crouch on it you can see this right window you can see the middle window left side as well you know there's a bunch of different areas of the map that you can do this on you know even off this a side you can just jump to this propane right here and get to the heli state instantly start seeing if anyone's coming out of this left side window mid side or right side window or before otherwise you had to go up these stairs and take that time to actually go up here and now you can literally just do it after you get a kill off of this a point and it's super quick you know you can just instantly get to the top there and then jump on it's just so easy nowadays and even just this AC over here you can just instantly see if anyone's going to, through that right window uh, and you obviously couldn't do that before in old times you know that even this thing over here you can run along all these walls create another little heady for yourself for this middle window and starting to see if anyone's coming through this right window you know there's just so much info that you can get from these spots you know even going on top of this green hut over here you can see people spawning left side coming out of the spawn there you can jump over this ac see people on this middle window then you can jump over to the helicopter like this and get that position that you had back in the day but now you can do it from so many different areas of the map you know you can even make that little jump over here start mantling and you know playing over here there's just so many different things that you could do and it's actually just insane the amount of power positions you create by yourself you know even these generators watching towards the defensive spawn you know just instantly create a heady for yourself with this wall you can jump onto this one you can instantly mantle up to this one over here watch the right side window and kind of block yourself away from this left side window but what you previously had to do is just watch out of this cutout and everyone could kind of like center for that but you know it just really creates all these different advantages where you don't need to actually get a lot of map pressure you know you just get two three 
three down and then you're just instantly hopping up, capping the point, and you instantly have, you know, people leaving their spawn without having to get to the top heli. You know, you can even have another guy top heli and you just double this. And it's now it's just really impossible to exit out of their spawn without some good team or, or some really good movement where they can hide themselves, you know, pretty well. So honestly, I think this map had some potential, you know, going into the season, but now with the whole mantling, it kind of just destroys the whole essence of map pressure on this map specifically just because of how it's designed. Unfortunately, that is the case, but you know, we are going to have to work with it. And like I was saying before, you know, both sides technically have these type of positions that they can use for themselves. So in a sense, it is equal. It's just, you know, don't go three or four down because you can get into those spawn traps easily. So honestly, it's just really important uh, to stay alive in those positions, especially if one or two of your teammates already go down uh, and you're just going to have to play off of that. So Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown of high rise and, you know, maybe even give you some spots you didn't know about already. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.